right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hello Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who've ruled well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, Sincere Akiyam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And Shalom to the few Sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want the Ratazai to be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And um, it's going to be real quick. It's going to be uh, based upon an article that I saw. And also an observation that I made with my own eyes. Um, if you've been looking around, if you've been paying attention, the price of gas has been uh, slowly, gradually going up just as promised. All right. Gas has been going up just as promised. Right. And uh, that's in regards to the whole OPEC fiasco. So I got a, um, an article off of Fox Business. I'm going to read a little bit of it. And I'll close out with a scripture. I don't want to Again, it'll be edifying, exhorting, and, comfort and comforting. We're close, man. We're close. All hell is about to break loose. Our redemption is truly nigh. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. All right? So this is, um, again, off of Fox Business. It's from two days ago, April 5th, 2023. The hopeful year where all the prophecies are fulfilled. And it reads, gas prices will surge in coming weeks. After OPEC cuts production, analysts say, and this is an observation that I've made with my own two eyes. You know, when I look at the price of gas, it's been creeping up gradually, you know. So it says, um, matter of fact, not even gradually. Last Saturday, between last set from like last week, Saturday till, till today, gas uh, around my area went up, what, 20 cents, something like that. So it says, um, that's within a week, right? So it says, uh, gasoline prices are likely to increase ahead of peak driving season as a result of the announcement Monday that several oil-rich nations will cut oil production, multiple analysts told Fox Business. On Monday, the Organization of the Petroleum Export Countries, OPEC, announced massive oil production cuts and a potential blow to global energy markets. As part of the announcement, OPEC members led by Saudi Arabia and joined by Iraq, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, and other Middle Eastern countries will reduce oil drilling by 1.116 million barrels per day. People that, people that didn't think we're going to hit $4 better think again. Four dollars a gallon is probably a given, and it's it's getting there bit by bit. Gradually, it's going up. At least where I'm at. So again, it says people that didn't think we're gonna hit four dollars better think that again. Four dollars a gallon is probably a given. Phil Lynn, a senior market analyst with Price Futures Group, told Fox Business in an interview. Whether we get to $5 is going to depend on a lot of things. So it says, but the timing couldn't be worse. Yeah, everything is coming to a head. But the timing couldn't be worse because this is when refiners have to start kicking it into high gear to produce summer blends of gasoline. He continued, they're going to have to they're going to have to have a harder time with less supply of oil on the market. It's going to make it more expensive to bring those barrels to the gas station, turn it into gasoline. It says Flynn added that usually when petroleum refineries transition to summer blends, which are form formulated to limit certain emissions that increase in warm weather, the price of gasoline and required under federal law to replace winter blends on May 1st for refineries and June 1st for retailers, gas prices gas prices increased by about 10 to 15 cents a gallon nationwide and again just from last week saturday sunday to uh what's today today's friday i've seen it gas go up by 20 cents you know way more than already what they're talking about 
and I and I foresee it's only going to get worse. The OPEC production cut will add upwards pressure to that normal fluctuate fluctuation, he said. According to Flynn, it is possible the average price of gasoline hits five dollars a gallon during peak driving months in the summer. Gas prices surpassed five five dollars a gallon in uh, June 2022 for the first time in U.S. history, marking an all-time high. And through the spirit, I see it's going to surpass five dollars. I can see it going way past five because inflation is setting in. Not to mention the dollars are uh, being devalued. You know, um, the you know a lot of these countries are stepping away from the petrol dollar. You know. I, um, I only see it getting worse, you know, so that's pretty much the point, not too long, quick video, you can read more of the article if you want, do your own due diligence, but this, you know, this is something I've seen with my own two eyes, because I've been watching, I, you know, I watch, and then it, it, as, as, as it is our job, we watch and we report, we warn you, we filter everything through the scriptures, evil days are quickly approaching, Evil days are on the horizon. All hell is going to break loose. We're at the di we're at the door of Jacob's trouble, and the hour of temptation, where Esau Edom makes this digital ul this karagma mandatory, this sihip, okay. But prior to that, all hell is going to break loose. Problem, reaction, solution, order out of chaos. He's bringing the squeeze, man. You know. So um, I'm gonna close out here. Not not long, straight to the point. Second Ezra sixteen, and we've been, we've been going into Second Ezra fifteen, and Second Ezra, Ezra sixteen a lot because, hey, these prophecies are screaming. You know, we're in these times. We're at the door. So Second Ezra sixteen and seventeen. Woe is me! Woe is me! Who will deliver me in those days, the days that are quickly approaching, the evil days, as it says in Ecclesiastes. What's that? Ecclesiastes. Uh, 12 and 1 remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth before the evil days draw nigh the evil days are, are, are right upon us woe is me woe is me who will deliver me in those days and hey, the only one that's going to deliver us is Yahweh Bashim and Shai. we're going to have to have that the wa around us that spiritual mark exempt from judgment that's the only way we're going to make it up out of here man because all, all everything is going to collapse everything you trust and hope in it's going to fail you. You know? The only thing that's going to stand in these times is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the elect. Starting with his men and the innumerable, the one third, the innumerable amount of believers that follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. You know? It says the beginning of sorrows. This is just the beginning. You ain't seen nothing yet. More layoffs. You know? Fam well, let me let me let the Lord speak. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The people are mourning because the wicked are ruling. The beginning of famine, an actual famine. You see it; it's setting in. Lack of food, lack of water, lack of resources. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars, class wars. Race wars, civil war, domestic violence, you know, not to mention the third's woe. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Hey, all we can do is put our trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And though he slay us, we got to keep our integrity. Behold. Famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment for you to consider and repent and change your ways. But only the elect are going to take heed. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. But for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. The prophecies are screaming, judgment is pouring out in the earth. And most of you people aren't even paying attention. You just keep on keeping along, skipping along, trotting along that broad path to destruction. Behold, victuals, goods, which this is not the case anymore because everything is going up. We're in, we're in, we're at, hey, we're dealing with inflation, which is 
uh, gradually turning into hyperinflation. All right. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. A prime example used to have something called dollar menus. And that's a thing of the past. Everything is going up. Everything is going up but your pay. You know, not to mention we're at the door of mass layoffs. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. A lot of you are thinking peace and safety. You know, we know what the scripture says about that. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And you can keep reading. The whole chapter is good, but that's the point. You know, straight to the point. Woe is me, woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? We're at, we're at the door, man, of all hell breaking loose. Jacob's trouble. Everything is going up. As you can see, gas is going up again. You know? You know? Evil days are quickly approaching. So it would behoove you to sincerely repent and seek the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai while he may be found. Keep pushing, man. We're close. Shalom. Wah. Abad. Babal. Kwam Nesharala.